That's right, Shadow. This is my chair. Hello, Steve Rossé coming back at you from Sydney, Australia, principal tuba player of the Sydney Symphony Orchestra. Um, today is class number nine, nine of 20. Now, since we all had to go into isolation or lockdown due to this unfortunate world situation, I have made a dedication to all of you to present you 20 tuba classes where we can be together, um, work on basics, fundamentals, and some specific things. Um, I'm gonna back up a bit here. This is not just for tuba, this is for all brass, all right? 12 more classes to go um, over these six weeks of the 10. Um, then hopefully we all go back to our schools and then everything will be fine, right? Let's, let's certainly hope. All right, so first of all, getting back to the tuba. My classes are holistic. For those of you who might be joining for the first time, uh, we talk about things like meditation, wellness, nutrition, and exercise. We don't get too much into that. We primarily focus on the tuba, all right? 12 classes, 12 classes to go. We are going to focus these 12 classes with themes of each of the 12 major keys. So today is gonna to be in the key of C, all right? Now, like in previous classes, we will begin with some meditation. We will begin with some physical exercises to get the blood going through the body, to get the oxygen in the veins and to the brain, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, work on our tuba playing, our brass playing, all around the key of C for today's class. All right? So, as a reminder for the meditation, sit on the floor or in a chair so you're comfortable. Posture up with your spine straight as if you're being held uh, by a string or a rope from the ceiling. And we want to either close our eyes or leave our eyes open. Um, but what you want to do is you want to take control over your thought process here, all right? So the brain basically has two functions. One function is to make your body work and to respond to things without you having to think. The other part of your brain is the mind. This is where you are in control, all right? You're in control of how you breathe when you're awake and we also want to be in control of our thoughts. So when we play brass instruments or any music, we need to be in control of our thoughts. It starts with a mind game, as a reminder. And the best way to get this mind game going is to start by emptying the mind and then filling it with the thoughts that serve us. All right, so let's go ahead and do a meditation here. For those of you who've been taking these classes, you know yourself how long you like to go on your own. I'm just gonna do 10, 10 slow deep breaths as the meditation for this session. Um, if you'd like to do more, then please turn off or pause, don't turn it off, pause, pause the video and meditate for as long as you want. I know some people do this for an hour, all right? So, positive words, positive sounds, positive feelings coming in. Take your pick and exhale anything that is not serving you, all right? And with that, we're gonna release tension from our bodies. So here we go. 10 big deep breaths. Great. All you, 
all you brass players out there. Remember playing brass is one of the most physically demanding instruments of the orchestra. We have to physically move the air, we have muscles in the lips. Um, so I like to incorporate some athletic or military style or yoga style exercises. We'll get more to yoga style stretching and breathing as the classes progress. We have gotten into a little bit more military style um, calisthenics, things that you can do at home. All right, now I'm going to go onto the holistic exercise health component of the class, which is only going to be about a half minute of talking on this. Then we'll get onto the exercises and playing. All right, so many of you are in isolation, and there are a lot of people out there who are losing their form or want to get into shape. If that's your thing, um, these things that we're doing, you can do for hours. For example, on the next exercise, we're going to do a triple set of push-ups, air squats, and then the chair lateral crunches with the bench, with their feet on the bench. So those of you who have done the classes before, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you can't remember, follow me. All right, so this is a, a, an exercise that you can do where you, you look at your clock, for example, and you set it to every three minutes or every four minutes or every two minutes. And every two minutes, every three minutes, every four minutes, you do the triple set and then you rest. You can do this for up to an hour. It's very good for you, all right? It's good for your cardio. It's good for your muscles. It's good for um, uh, weight-bearing exercises. Weight-bearing means your own, your own body weight, all right? Without further talking, we're going to get into the exercises now. I'm only going to do two rounds. So if you can only do one round or part of one round, that's absolutely fine. It's your competition with yourself. If you can keep up with me for the two rounds, I challenge you to go on further for your own competition with yourself, not with anybody else, your own development physically, um, and to go three rounds, four rounds, ten rounds, however you would like to do. And if you're really proud of what you're doing, feel free to send me a Facebook message saying, Steve, I did 10 rounds of your triple set from class number nine, all right? So, 10 push-ups, 10 air squats, and then 20 lateral crunches with our feet on the bench, all right? So here we go, I'm gonna move the two out of the way. And for those of you who are not into the physical exercises at all, that's fine, because it's not for everybody, all right? I do encourage you to try to do what you can 10 push-ups, good form. We really want to uh, tighten the core here on all three exercises. And with the push-ups, as a reminder, shoulders back, down, and you push up from your back muscles, not your arm muscles, all right? Your back muscles, and protect your shoulders by moving them back and down. And also, this is a great position for playing the tuba or any brass instrument. Trumpet, shoulders back, down, big breath core strength. So that's why these exercises are specifically good for brass playing. All right, here we go. 10 push-ups with brass breaths. Here we go. One. air squats, all right? Pull your shirt down if you need to, especially if you're on camera. Here we go. Great. Now we lie on the floor with our feet on a bench or a chair. All right. As you probably remember from last time, last time I did it with a cat, but he's left. He's lazy. Okay, so the crunches. Hands on your chest. You really tighten up these, uh, these muscles here at the bottom of your tummy between your belly button and your belt line. All right. And we move back and forth to the side 20 times. Here we go. One, two, Three, four, five, tighten that tummy. Six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. If you want to do more, keep going. Do 100. Do 200. Whatever, all right? Okay, now, take a quick, quick rest. We are going to do 10 slow, deep tuba breaths, and then we're going to do another round, all right? And if you want to do 100, 10 rounds, 20 rounds, and then press play and carry on with the play and the breathing, all right? 10 big breast breaths. We've opened up the shoulders. We've opened up, opened up the rib cages. We've been working our, um, our diaphragm muscles. Now we're gonna open everything up and do 10 brass breaths. Here we go. And use your hand for the visual. Each one deeper. Two more. Take it in. Blow it out. And last one. Both hands. Great. Another round. Push-ups, air squats, lateral crunches. Ten. Here we go. Go deep. When you get to your last um, round, however many you're going to do, do as many of these uh, lateral crunches as you can. Here we go. instruments, your trumpets, your horns, your trombones, tubas. Today is the key of C. All right? I've had requests for articulation attacks, starting notes, especially in the lower register, from some of my advanced students right here in Sydney, as well as um, from some students globally as well. Um, I do take requests for this class, so send me a Facebook message on what you'd like to do. Also, there's the practice journal from Creative Coaching Productions that you can have as a PDF. I'll send it to you. It's free, all right? Just send me a message if you want the practice journal um, or if you have requests for the next class, all right? So, since today is in the key of C, we're going to play a C. We're going to blow the air first and then play the note. Because you're all probably a little bit uh, pumped up here at the heart. Um, maybe slightly out of breath from the exercises. But this is good because a lot of times when we're playing in the band or the orchestra or solo piece, we will get out of breath playing our pieces. So it's good to practice that feeling to be out of breath and play. All right? Here we go. Air only and then an open C. C. 
Let's go down the scale. C major scale. We'll play the C once more. And then we'll go to the B, the A, the G. So whatever keyed instrument you're playing, we are all playing concert pitch C major. Okay? Air and then note. Air and then note for the whole way down. Here we go. Air first. Now we play. sound. attack work. I know we've done this on some previous classes, but for people who are working on this as one of their weaknesses, this is not a quick fix thing that you just do in one class. We, we, can, we can revisit this over and over and over. We're not going to do attacks and articulation on all the classes, but we will do on many, all right? And it's part of the airflow as well. So if you, for example, have no problem with your articulation and attacks and would rather work on long tones, Instead, by all means, play long tones instead of what we're doing with us at the same time. All right? Now what we're going to do is a descending C major scale, going do 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 That's four of the sequences, and then on the fifth time, the held note. do 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 Tall, tall. <coughs> Excuse me, need some water. All right? Let's just blow that first on our hand. All right? So we won't blow and play on, on all of these because then it will take a very long time and some of the more advanced players will get impatient. But feel free on your own to pause the button between each one and blow on your hand and then join us for the playing. All right? C.
here's a chance for you to be a bit creative and make this a long session for yourself. Pause the video here and then do that two or three more times with all kinds of different dynamics. Really soft, really loud, whatever you want to do. All right? So if you want to do that, pause now and then we'll carry on. Welcome back. Now we're going to do the same thing but in reverse. Starting on the pedal C and going up one octave. Let's first check in with our air movement, all right? Sometimes I don't call it breathing, because you breathe in your sleep. I call it air control, air management, air movement. So in this case, let's check in with the movement of our air, how the air moves into our body and how it moves out of our body to have the lip sync, all right? So here we go, just the air for the pedal seat. Here we go. Note an acoustical scientific fact that slow vibrations create low notes or low sounds. Fast vibrations create high sounds, high notes. So the way the air needs to move when the lips are vibrating slowly for low notes, the air needs to be very strong, but it needs to be moving at a slower speed than high notes. And the reason for that high notes vibrate very fast, so it needs fast air for the fast vibration. Slow, deep, powerful air. Well, I'm talking a big wall of air here. I'm talking about five, six liters of your body's air moving like this, slowly, with weight and power to get your, to get your low pedal C out. All right? Let's get into playing this now. Pedal C. Got it? Slow, big air. Boom. Right. of Rome, right? F. Cool. Very. Keep going up. Boom, 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 boom. All the way up, all the way up. Like I say, I would do it with you, but I like to keep these videos between um, 25 to 45 minutes. So with all the stopping and starting on your own, it's an hour to all day. All right? So turn off the video and continue going up as high as you can and then come back down. Welcome back. The next will be Build a descending scale. Again, C major, because the theme for today is C major. C, C, B, C, B, A, C, B, A, G, C, A, B, G, F, etc. Till we get all the way down in one octave. From the low C to the pedal C. All slurred, all in one breath, take the air. Let's just blow through this whole thing once. And then we'll play it. With the valves, with me. Just blowing, not playing. Here we go. D. 
Did you do them all in one breath? If not, do it again. Turn off the video. Turn it off until you can do them all in one breath. Do them quickly and not loud. Quickly in mezzo piano, that's fine. It's the airflow motion we really want to get used to. All right, now we're gonna play it. Starting with the C, then C, B, C, B, same thing. Breathing on four. One, two, three. together for me. Alright? There we go. A third time to make it as solid as we can. Three. Great. Now, build a scale from the low C. And we're going to go three octaves. Just warning you. Three octaves build a scale. Always in one breath, starting with pedal C, C, D, C, D, E, etc. Three octaves. Then I'll let you go on to four on your own, if you would like. All right, here we go. Pedal C. seconds, I promise. All right? Diatonic scale. A reminder. Etc. Okay? Nice and long. Let's not play this 
as an exercise of thumping elephants. I hear too many people in my group classes going There's nothing musical about that. And the tuba is a musical instrument and all of your brass instruments are also musical instruments. All right? So very long. Do 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 do. Legato da tant. You can shape phrases. You can add a little vibrato. Make it a piece of music. All right? From pedal C. Here we go. Two, three. citizens um, and like I mentioned before we also have over 3,000 of our Chinese friends who are unable to access YouTube um, on a platform that we're designing precisely for them in Chinese all right so if you have any Chinese friends who don't know about this have them send me a message um, by email tubacoach at gmail.com for those of you who don't know my new business email address. It is tubacoach at gmail.com. T-U-B-A-C-O-A-C-H at gmail.com. All right. Now, one life coaching tip. Um, it's a little bit on the parameters of what we talked about over, over the last weeks. Um, everybody's different. You all have your ways of living fully. You all have different core values and beliefs. They're basically all the same as mine, but with, with some slight differences, all right? So with this lockdown and this isolation, you don't have to be under pressure by everything that's out there on social media that says, it's time to learn a new language. It's time to do a course online. It's time to do this. It's time to read 100 books and join a book club. That's up to you. The options are out there. You can also just do nothing, except these tutor classes, all right? Give yourself permission to uh, mourn and connect with the sadness that's going on in the world and just do nothing. That's really cool. If that's your sensitivity of your heart and soul and that's what you choose to do, by all means, do that. However, you might be a person who wants to do that and also do something for yourself. Um, so it is time to join an online book club, uh, do a course online, whatever. All right, it is important, no matter what you're doing, um, in order to stay uh, mentally healthy, to make yourself a routine, all right? Doing nothing is fine, but it's also a bit dangerous that you might end up sleeping all day, and then you'll get sad. So, your daily routine, as I mentioned before, needs to start with getting up at a certain time and doing something, and that could be nothing. Doing nothing is something, all right? Um, here's an example. Get up at 7 every morning and do an hour of stretching, meditation, exercise, eat a wonderful breakfast, 
and do a project or go to work. You might be working, go to work online or real work. Uh, most of you are tuba students in isolation. Um, so this is the chance for you to get ahead on your courses. Get ahead on your tuba playing. Make a list of your biggest weaknesses and get ahead of these um, so you're way ahead of the game when it comes time to getting back into to society with big groups face to face, cheek to cheek. All right? All right, that's enough of the, of the life coaching thing. Find your own way. Don't, don't do what other people prescribe you to do. Don't live a life to satisfy somebody else. Live your own life with your own fulfilled goals and dreams. Make it happen. If anybody has any life coaching questions or advice, feel free to email me or send me a private message. I'm happy to have a session with you on the phone or on Zoom. It's absolutely free of charge. It's my isolation gift to you as tuba players. I do take a holistic approach on all this. Enough talking for now. That's the end of today's class. The next class will be in two parts where we're going to go mouthpiece buzzing and all the other, all the other things. And we're going to go in the key of G as well. All right. So thank you for joining. And then we'll catch you again on the weekend. Bye for now.